Hi, I'm David Horn at the physics department here in Gannon University, and I'm Gannon's resident astronomer as well. Um, I'm originally from England, you can probably tell this from the accent just a little bit, and it's sort of a circuitous journey of how I got here in that I started doing astronomy and physics when I was about 11. So sometimes people are a little confused when I tell them I've been doing this for 30 plus years and think I should be older than I am. So there you go. Um, so I started this in England, which for some reason has produced many, many astronomers. I'm not sure how, considering the weather that England actually suffers from. But I started with an astronomical society there, and I learned many, many things from them. And then I took that, and I took that to the university level and started to do astrophysics. And then, after I'd done an astrophysics degree, I came to America to work on the Mars program. I often tell people I used to work on Mars, but the commute got too much, so I moved to Erie. So I was working on the Mars program and worked out of Goddard Space Flight Center for the longest time. And after I worked there, I moved on to doing infrared astronomy in things like uh, interplanetary disks and circumstellar disks and interstellar clouds and looking at the chemistry of the universe and things like that. And that's really how I got my start here. Um, I eventually moved here to Gannon University where I reinstituted uh, the astronomy classes and as you can see these are some of the things we use in the astronomy class talking about the exploration of the solar system mainly. This is Gus who wears our spacesuit. We have this uh, on display in many of the classes. We also have a telescope that we uh, try to use as often as we possibly can. Uh, we have this so we can use this during the day on solar filters. This is completely computer driven and we also have a camera that students get to use uh, should you like to be the kind of person who likes to stay up till three in the morning taking images of the sky. So that's me. This is my uh, equipment that I use on a regular basis. Um, these are mainly used for the astronomy classes, but I also teach physics classes. This is many of the things that we use in physics classes, talking about dynamics and moving objects and energies, forces and gravity and things of that nature. Um, I hope to see you in my classes should you choose to take them.